Today, we continue this beautiful build. Continue? What? What is he talking about? For those of you that do not know, this car was absolutely ridiculous. In fact, it is the fastest auto 60, the fastest accelerated car in the bloody game. But you would have to be Jesus to learn how to drive it. I'm not talking about a god. I'm talking about the god. The god that created the gods. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, top man up there. I ain't even religious, but you need to be a god. Like Lenny Henry. Bless, bless our Lord. Right, let's get to it. So we are back with this ridiculous car, mainly because I saw a little video from the friend. Someone pointed out to Hippo that they have now tweaked the handling of this car. And if you may remember, that was basically the only thing really wrong with it. In fact, that's the reason we put drag tires on and ruined all drivability completely. So let's put ourselves some race tires on. I've actually got to buy them. I am very poor, I know. And everything else should pretty much be as it should be. Actually, let's have a look. Actually, the six speed might be a better choice because it isn't seeming to affect the top speed. We'll try that. We'll practice it. And because it's been a little while, we should probably change the color of it just to spice it up. You know, we already did a blue. We could go with a purple. A purple actually would be pretty sweet. Honestly, this car is a skittle. It could suit any color you could throw in. Okay. How are you going to do now? I already feel a little bit confident in the turnability. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? It turns. It actually turns and doesn't just slide to the side like an absolute lunatic. Very nice. Now, this thing piles on the speed. The only thing is, when you get to the high speeds, with all lower end cars, this seems to be the case, the screen shake is absolutely ridiculous. We need to see what the top speed is going to be like. Is the top speed as it should be. Is it still as good as I remember? This is the real Porsche. Porsche what? Porsche Beetle. Beetle Porsche. Boost, baby. Let's get it. Woo! Jesus. I'm going to be honest. I'm totally, totally converted. This is beautiful. If you go into the hood view, there ain't no crazy screen shake. Ho, ho. How does it turn at the speeds? Oh, it's still really aggressive. Let's play around with the tweak menu a little bit. Go to live tuning. Steering sensitivity. Why have I got this on high? Oh, I was on drag, wasn't I? Of course. I may be insane, but I'm not that insane. I didn't intentionally do that. I'm not, not crazy. You know what I'm saying? I've got a little bit of sense to me. I'm blowing down the speed. Slowing down a little bit. That's fine. It's still holding 200s pretty nicely. Okay, I feel this is still pretty damn quick. Now, we have some business to attend to. We need to see how quick this thing is around a racetrack. It's all well and good being fast in a straight line. We already know this is still the best accelerating car. What car accelerates like this? Good question. Let's get it. Look at this. Boom. 60. Down. Oh, 100. Bam. Doesn't surprise me. This is the real, the real Porsche. Porsche what? Exactly. We're driving the Volkswagen Beetle RSR. Perfect. There you go. This is the, the Beetle RSR. It is an equivalent. Now we need to find an event to do. An event that I have dominated a few times. Go online. Am I not online? This one. Trickster. This event I've done a few times. 340 is my time. Again, that's an average player's time, I would say. An average money maker. Shake your money maker. Part of me loves that they fixed the handling of this, but part of me hates it at the same time. I really, really, really... I, I, it had a personality to it. It was the fastest car in the game, but it handled like absolute doo-doo poo-poo, which is fine. I mean, it's not fine. It's kind of upsetting. This is the potential RSR killer. I, I, I don't think it's going to beat the RSR, but hey, listen to me. It's cooler than the RSR. You get extra style points for driving this. Holy crap. It turns a little bit too well still. Very, very, very light. Very point and shoot. It feels very strange. I feel like if every car handled like this, no one would be like, oh, this handles difficultly. I think with a little bit of time, I'm actually going to put some time into this car, you know, because I I want I want it to, to, to beat every RSR on the planet. I want it to decimate, eliminate, to get rid of. It's horrible, horrible, brother. You want it vamoosed off. This color looks so good on it. This is the better color choice. And it's still got the blue to match the plate. Damn, I'm a good color picker. Oh, yeah. I also have the sensitivity quite high on the sticks, remember, if you haven't been. And we've still got the drum brakes on. <laughs> That's beautiful, baby. All right. This this may be a bad idea. We, we may want to put some dead zone on the sticks. See, I'm not used to having to turn so little for it to react. Already went straight into the bloody wall. So we've got to be a 340. 
Look at that sharp turning. It's actually ridiculous. Kind of a bit too ridiculous. It makes me nervous. It worries me. God, it turns way too sharply and loses so much speed. It's still got that need for speed ability of losing speed pretty quickly. Although that is realistic. If I was to spin my car sideways, I would lose quite a bit of speed. If you didn't know. But that, right, baby. We got these. Ain't no problems. We go and get it. Look at that. You don't even have to drift. That actually might be. Oh, God, no. This may take a few attempts. But I think. Damn it. It's party trick may be that it doesn't have to drift like some of the other cars do, which does scrub off speed. I also have another theory that obviously it still slides and a lot of the time I don't think it needs to. I think I might change this car to brake to drift. If it changes to brake to drift, I know it sounds like a sin. How dare you? If I change it to brake to drift, there's less chance of it actually drifting. Because obviously I'm gassing off, gassing on more so than I am braking with this car because it turns so freaking well. That's, if I mess up again, we go and do it. Let's be so careful with the NOS because it still turns like hellfire with a bit of boost. You'd think it was straying it up, but nah, 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 nah. Holy crap. Try doing the method of no, no, no lift braking. You don't even need to brake. Look at the speed, the climbability, no lift braking. And we still lost a bit of traction. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. My idea is I'm not going to lift off the throttle. I'm going to brake. Oh my God. Oh, it just turns. No, it, it went straight. It went straight. Live tuning glitch. And that's what I call speed. I'm doing it, baby. We are actually only a couple of seconds off of my... You stupid Mercedes. Get out my face. We are literally a couple of seconds off of the time that I got with the RSR, which again is a decent time. We're gonna have a play with the live tuning, as I said. I'm gonna see if this is any sense whatsoever because it, it may it may be, it may fix everything. You never know. It's trial and error, boys. Trial and error. This beetle looks so good. I need some real brakes. Holy crap! <laughs> I was about to brag at how good that corner was. <laughs> you again. Get out of my way, you big pig! Jesus! <laughs> I don't give up. We don't give up. Come on. Let's get it. Cross the line. Boom. Two seconds faster. I actually made two major mistakes that time. Now, again, just to give you an idea, this is not an event that I... I don't really have a specific event that I test times on. But what I do is I play through them as quick as possible to try and make as much money as possible. And I have now just set a brand new time right here in my Beetle. Very, very cool. Now, ultimately, it's still completely possible for someone in an RSR to beat that time. I think the general idea is that this car is probably the second fastest in the game now, or one of the top five, let's say. But it's going to be dependent on your driving ability. It drives a little bit differently to basically every other vehicle. Every other vehicle has... I say every other vehicle. There's probably main two types of vehicle in this game. And the RSR is an exception this is an exception, and so on. So there's the Aventador side of the scale, which the Aventador is a real piece of poo to handle. It does not want to turn whatsoever. And then you've got the other end of the spectrum, which is leaning onto the RSR side, which is very, very easy to handle. This, <laughs> it has its own bloody category altogether. It's too good at handling is gonna be my summary of it. The grip is absolutely ridiculous still it's insane they fixed the the swerviness of it but you can now still point and shoot and hold speed a bit more than you actually expect you expect it to turn less and unless you do minute minute adjustments you're going to be messing up badly over and over again your initial reaction on a need for speed game is to jam on the throttle jam on the turning and that happens. No one in the car gets critical damage from me just driving the damn thing around the free roam. That doesn't make sense. Oh. So, is it as quick as the RSS? Is it an RSS, RSS, RSR? Killer. Oh my God, I'm actually going to die. Yes. I'm going to say yes if you put it into the perfect hands, which I'm going to tell you, you're going to need a few runs to do it. This is potentially possibly better in my opinion it handles so much better 
It's just we're really not used to it being able to. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments. Do you think this is the true RSR killer? And uh, are you hoping for a six-cylinder engine swap? Because that would turn the tables a million fold. Be sure to smash like, subscribe, you know what I'll see you in the next video. And until next time, my friends, peace.